but we're, we're human, right? And things happen, and mistakes happen, but forgiveness is key. Hey, hey, what's up? It's Christine Horn, The Book and Magnet. I'm here for another Motivation Monday. Welcome, welcome, happy new week. Oh man, I'm so excited about this new week. It's so many amazing things are happening for you, for me, and I'm, I can't wait to experience them. Oh my gosh, so today I wanna talk about something that I talk a lot about. This is actually one of my, probably one of my most popular video topics on my YouTube channel, which is very odd because, well not odd, but it was a video I shot, gosh, maybe six, seven years ago, about forgiving yourself. But I feel the need to um, bring it on back here and talk just a little bit about that today so that you can dive into this new week feeling fresh and, and generous and grace, give yourself grace this week. Look, we've all done things that either we're ashamed of, that we you know wish we could take back if we could turn back time like we all have those things I'm talking from bad auditions to maybe how we treated somebody something we said when we were angry something we said to ourselves <laughs> while we were frustrated nervous you know and I want you to just take some time today to forgive yourself forgive yourself for the things you didn't know right we're growing in this. So you gotta forgive yourself for the things you didn't know, the mistakes you made. Now, I don't know what those things are, but you do. If you were to think back to right now, what, what am I still holding on to? What haven't I let go of? Was it the gig that I, I forgot to turn my audition in on time and I missed the opportunity? Was it the way I treated somebody on set? Was it, you know, <laughs> you know, for me, you know, I think forgiveness also goes hand in hand with really trying to overcome embarrassment and shame around some things, you know, and again, this is something I've shared on my YouTube channel, but I think about one of the worst auditions, not auditions, excuse me, I've had many bad auditions, but one of my worst moments on set was when I worked on MacGyver. Um, I was still living in Atlanta and it was a great scene and I had a great audition and I was on set, but I, I was in the middle of moving to LA. I was more stressed than I realized. In hindsight, I understood this. I was stressed, still working my day job. This is the last gig I booked. Before I left town, it was just the most going on. And I didn't realize how stress was showing up in my life. And it showed up on set with cameras watching and hundreds of people on set watching me. And I pretty much broke down. And honey, they had to piece that performance together, okay? And I carried a lot of shame around that for years. And, and people moved on and people said, oh, you were great. And again, what they ended up showing on MacGyver was awesome. <laughs> the words I was able to get out, but I had such a brain fart. I was so stressed, couldn't remember anything. And I was like, I had to do some serious inner work to remind myself that that moment did not define me. That I could forgive myself and I had to really unpack. And that's when I realized, oh, I was stressed. Oh, I was moving. Oh, I was going through all this and trying to manage. And in the middle of this, like having monologues to say on to a directly to camera, it was a lot. And I was so glad I was so grateful for the moment when I got clarity on that because I literally said out loud to myself Christine you are still talented you're still worthy you were this was not a mistake you were going through a lot I forgive you I had to forgive myself for the way that I talked to myself the way I was frustrated with myself and blaming myself and I had to do that and once I did that it gave me I gave myself so much grace and it was really nice to experience me forgiving myself for that. And trust me, I have a, a nice long list of other things that I've had to forgive myself for, but it takes that work. It takes that work because as artists, we have to make sure that we're showing up as, as full as possible. We were all doing daily work to be our best selves and be our best humans, but we're, we're human, right? And things happen and mistakes happen, but forgiveness is key. So I wanna offer that to you today. I wanna to plant that in your spirit as you uh, uh, approach this new week. I want you to approach it with, with, with enthusiasm and excitement and, and grace and ease and gratitude. So what do you need to forgive yourself for today? How will it impact your day, your week, your family, your own self? How, how will forgiving yourself for blank 
have a positive impact on you and those around you. I want to offer that up to you today. I encourage you to try it out. It feels so good. <laughs> you know that saying, forgiveness is for the forgiver. Well, this works when you're trying to forgive yourself. This works famously. It's great because it's a win-win situation. Ah, all right. That's all I got for now. Have an amazing week. I'm sending you so much good energy for a successful week ahead. Miracles are happening now. There are people, phone calls being made, emails, scripts being written, breakdowns being sent just for you, just for you. So I'm excited about it. I'm excited for me. I'm excited for you. So until then, I will see you next Monday. Remember, you have a gift that the world needs to see. Bye.